Hey everybody, it's Jason with All Star Welding. I know it's been a while and uh, I've been really, really busy. I got a lot of stuff going on, uh, a lot of issues, a lot of work, you know, life. But uh, I really appreciate those of you that wrote to me and asked me if everything is okay. Uh, that, but that really made me feel good that I was missed. Um, but uh, so I've got a little short video, a uh, little modification that I did to the uh, uh, Outlaw 195, the, uh, the uh, Vulcan uh, 195. Uh, it's not much, but uh, I wanted to show it to you just, you know, because I think it's cool. But the problem is, every time I started this machine up, every time, I don't care if it's been running all day long, and you just shut it off for five minutes, you have to flip the choke over every time you start it. And as you can see, I've got the toolbox is in the way. So when I had my other truck, I was I had a hook on the end of a stick and I could just reach over and you know pull it over. But I can't do it this one, toolbox is in the way. So I made uh, a little wire and I don't know why they didn't put the choke control on the front you know I don't know it doesn't matter but what I did was I added this little wire right here okay and let me show you where this goes you crawl up in the back of my truck here So all I did was I drilled a little tiny hole, I don't know if you can see this, sorry I don't have a light, but I drilled a little tiny hole at the end of the uh, choke lever so that when I pull the string it pulls the uh, choke over. Now you don't have to use stainless steel and these you know crimp on ferrules and all that kind of stuff I just happen to have that uh, but you could use you know a piece of string some kite string some yarn um, you know pull some string out of your chalk line whatever you know you use what you got so I just put a little eyelet right there and then on the front I put a little eyelet right there and then I just used the ring off of a keychain, and um, so let's let's. Uh, I haven't started it yet. I haven't even tested this yet, but let's see what it does. So my theory is, if I pull this down, it'll open that clutch up. All right, and uh, so this outlaw has what I call a semi-automatic clutch. Uh, where you have to manually flip the lever but when it gets the RPMs to what it needs it automatically moves it back for you so when it's running I think this is gonna zip back up there and uh, I don't have to reach over the uh, side of the truck anymore so let's see if this works Did you see that? Let's do it again. So I pull the choke. Nice, nice, nice. So I no longer have to try to reach. You know, sometimes I have to step on the tire grab onto this reach over with my other hand you know pull it over but uh like i said you know it's kind of silly it's just one of those little little things that you like to do but every time i start this machine and i have to reach over the side of the truck to flip that thing over every single time i tell myself why haven't you done that yet well I just happened to have a free weekend, uh, so I knocked it out real quick. Just want to make a little video. But look, uh, 
again i appreciate everybody wondering where i've been um and all the well wishes and everything uh i want you to stay tuned because i've got some subscriber requested video um of what they wanted to see me do with this uh outlaw and uh i've got a fence build and a gate uh that i have to build out of pipe and um i'm going to be using this and if i can remember to bring my camera and my tripod i'm going to make a video on it and uh see if i can get you know some of those points that the subscribers were wanting to see uh see if i can get that covered but uh anyway and and stay tuned also because i got another giveaway coming really short uh really soon shortly really short yeah whatever so i got another giveaway coming so make sure y'all um uh subscribe hit that like button uh hit the little bell so you're notified when i make a new video um and uh i'll talk to you later thanks for watching